a big smile and well deserved after more than a year, people flooding back into theaters. What kind of summer can we expect at the movies? Because I've got to imagine there are a ton of really awesome movies that are just being waited to roll out because they just were not rolled out in the past year. Yeah, you're right. You know, in any studio executive's belief that a movie belongs on streaming, that model's been shattered this weekend with the grosses that you just reported. The, uh, we had a, an amazing, amazing weekend um, coming back into the theater. I think that, you know, during the shutdown, people have been locked in their homes and they really have missed that communal experience. So we're looking forward to big movies coming out. Yes, some of them will still be uh, the pandemic model release and will be day and date on streaming services. But, uh, you know, there are so many movies, including Fast 9, uh, coming up at the end of this month that will be exclusive in theaters. And as I said, you know, the profitability of a movie is theatrical exclusivity. And, you know, we've really proved it this weekend. It was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, isn't that part of the whole thing, which is kind of like retail. We, we talk about brick and mortar. Oh, brick and mortar is dead. Everyone's going to online order. Guess what? Online ordering is no fun because we want to get out that's the point. Isn't the point of going to the movies, A, it's a giant screen, you got better sound, comfortable chairs, but the idea is also, Joseph, just to get out of the house. Yeah, exactly. And you can't get that experience at home. I mean, sitting in a room with strangers, even post-pandemic, um, you know, is something you just can't replicate anyplace else. And you're all feeling the same emotions at the same time. You're scared while watching A Quiet Place. You're, you know, intrigued while watching Cruella. Uh, you know, this coming week, Conjuring is coming out, which will do very, very well in theaters um, in the Heights. I mean, that's going to be just phenomenal in two weeks um, that both will be available day and date on streaming services, unfortunately. But as I said, the studios are realizing that theatrical exclusivity is the way to go. And they they, they know it. And we're back and uh, we're, we're not going anywhere. So. Yeah. How many movies have been done for a long time, Joseph, but we're not rolled out streaming. They're just waiting to be rolled. I can't even remember some of the titles, but is there is there a giant backlog? There is. Um, as, as I understand it, there are somewhere between 70 and 80 movies that weren't released during the shutdown that did not hit streaming services that are just waiting for theatrical releases. And a lot of these titles are small titles. They're, they're very, very good movies. Uh, I saw one last night called dream horse that's playing in theaters. It's, it's, it's a great movie and it was a great night going out. I think, yeah, top, I think top gun too, right? I mean, are you, are you ready for, for Maverick or like a 62 year old fighter pilot, Joseph? On the big yeah. screen, I Everybody's am. ready for that. I think that's the one that people have been really, really waiting for. But, you know, our difficulty has been getting staff to come back to work. I mean, you know, during the shutdown, people uh. either found other jobs or, you know, uh, right now with unemployment, you know, they, they can make more money on unemployment than they can coming back to work. So it's been a little bit difficult for us getting people back. But with about 75 percent of the nation's theaters opened right now, um, I think that, you know, hopefully unemployment will start uh, waning off and people will want to come back to work. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.